Forever's marketing plan is the formula by which we get paid. And it's important, of course, to understand how to make it work best for you, for whatever you want to get out of it. But when people see it for the first time, this formula, uh, this structure, it just looks like a sea of numbers. And it can pe you see people glazing over when they first look at it. So what I want to do in this video, with the help of my friend Michael here, say hello, Michael. Hello, everyone. Um, is to show you all the different areas of income that you can get from this payment plan, from this marketing plan. I want to show you exactly how to move through the marketing plan. And so you can make the most of it depending on what you want to achieve. I want to simplify it so that you can pick and choose which areas you want to get started with uh, and which areas you want to progress to. So first thing to bear in mind is that there are four areas of income. The first area that we're going to look at is retail income. And retail income is defined on this marketing plan in two areas. One is the first area is this personal profit you make. Uh, for assistant supervisors and above, it's a 30% uh, wholesale retail profit margin, so you make a straight 30%. Before you get to the position of assistant supervisor, so between signing the form and getting to assistant supervisor, it's a 15% profit margin. In addition to that 30% that you get uh, in all these positions, there's also the bonus, and the bonus ranges from 5 to 18%. And how, how do we know that? Where do we find it? Well, if you look at the names of the uh, positions in the marketing plan, here we've got an assistant supervisor, and this number directly underneath is the bonus. 8% is what a supervisor gets. An assistant manager gets 13%, and a manager gets 18%. Of course, a new distributor doesn't yet get a bonus, which is why it's really important to get to the position of assistant supervisor as quickly as possible. So these are where we get our personal bonus from. In addition to the retail income, which is a combination of our personal profit and personal bonus, we have a team building income or team leading income. People call it different things. I'm going to call it team leading here. And team leading income is simply the difference between the personal bonus you're entitled to and the personal bonus somebody in your team is entitled to. So let's say you've got to the position of assistant manager and you sponsor somebody who's an assistant supervisor. We can find out the team building bonus that you're entitled to simply by taking their 5% from your 13% and that gives you 8% on any assistant supervisors in your group. Similarly, if you've got a supervisor in your business, they're entitled to 8%, you're entitled to 13%. So the difference is 5% in this particular case. As a manager, any supervisors, the difference between eight and 18% is 10%. Then of course this grows. So any assistant supervisors, you're on 18%, they're on 5%, that will be 13%. Assistant managers, 5% being the difference between 18 and 13. And so we can just work out the difference between your bonus and their bonus, which is in this scale here. And that's going to give you what your team building bonus is. And you can see that the smallest team building bonus comes when you're a supervisor with assistant supervisors, which is 3%. And the largest is when you are a manager with assistant supervisors, that gives you 13% bonus. So three to 13% bonus. Of course, if you've got new distributors, then the bonus is slightly higher because you get the whole of that bonus because their bonus is 0%. Then we've got what I think is the most exciting part of the marketing plan, and that's royalty income. Royalty is not an official term for it. Uh, they call it the uh, gem bonus, leadership bonus uh, in the forever marketing plan. But for me, it attracted me in the first place because having helped people build standalone businesses, this is the bonus that's going to get paid to us month in, month out. So if you get somebody to a position where they've got a stable business, then forever pays you uh, the royalty income on that business. And this comes from this area of the marketing plan here. So royalty happens when you help somebody become a manager. So we're going to sponsor somebody. 
uh, when we sponsor them. We help them to move through the marketing plan. And I'll come back to moving through the marketing plan in a moment or two. But as they're moving to the position of manager, we get paid this team leading, team building bonus uh, on the turnover that's being created. Once they get to the position of manager, of course, you're on 18% and they're on 18%. So there's no real difference. Well, there's no actual difference. Uh, and so this is when this extra income kicks in. And for people who you've personally sponsored, we call those first generation managers, you receive six to 9%. It starts at 6% and then it can rise. And I'll come back on to how you can make those percentages go up a little later. As second generation managers, you receive three to 6%. So your manager sponsors somebody, helps them get to manager. That is a second generation manager to you. And when they sponsor somebody and help them get to manager, that's a third generation manager to you. And you receive a bonus, a royalty bonus of two to 5%. So how do we move from the six to the 9% or from the three to the 6%, two to the 5%, the more managers you've got, you get these extra percentage points. The first trigger is what we call a Sapphire manager. And that's somebody who's got nine managers. And then instead of 6%, you get 7%. Instead of 3%, you get 4%. Instead of 2%, you get 3% on those that turnover. The next trigger, Diamond Sapphire, which is 17 managers. Again, an additional percentage point. So it becomes eight, five, four. And then the next position is when you become a Diamond manager, with 25 personally introduced managers, you get 9% on all your first generation managers, 6% on all your second generation, 5% on all your third generation managers. This is paid to you directly from forever. It's sharing their wholesale profits with you. So it doesn't take anything away from anybody in your team. It really defines how the wholesale profit is shared out between the people who are doing the coaching, the supporting, the team building, and forever. So that in essence are the three main areas on this chart, but there's one area which is not on it, which is mission critical if you want to make the big money and that is profit share. Every year, the company sets aside 3% of its total sales. It's actually 2% of the wholesale value, which is the same as 3% sales of all the qualifying countries. So any country that's uh, gone over a certain minimum threshold. And this is put into one big notional pot. Uh, it's around 20 million US dollars. And you can qualify for a proportion of this. First time qualifiers will qualify for a check of around 2000 uh, pounds in the UK. That's what it's been historically around that sort of uh, figure. But then you can build on that. So second year qualifiers maybe have picked up checks for between five and 10,000 pounds because their businesses have grown in the meantime. Uh, then third year qualifiers, maybe 15, 20,000. Of course, the pot gets shared out among the qualifiers, so we don't know exactly how much it's going to be, but it can be significant. So I've had checks of, I've had a number of checks of over 50,000 pounds. In fact, uh, to date, I've received over a quarter of a million pounds in profit share checks alone, as have many, many people uh, throughout the FLP world. What I want to do next is show you how to move through these positions, because obviously to get a bigger team building bonus, we need to be the position of assistant manager and manager. So the question is, how are we going to move through the marketing plan? That's what I want to show you now. A bit of jargon first. Forever measures all turnover, all sales turnover in two ways. One is in the money way, and that's what we get paid on. We get a percentage of the money value of all the products that get sold personally and in your team. But they also measure turnover by their own internal point system. They call it case credits, nothing to do with cases. Uh, it, it did right in the beginning over 30 years ago, but it, every individual product has got a case credit value, which I'm sure you already know. And we move through the marketing plan by accumulating these points, accumulating these case credits, not just you personally accumulating them with the orders that you're placing, but it's the total orders of all the people in your team. I want to show you exactly how that works. So here we've got the position of manager. And as you know, 
we uh, receive an 18% personal bonus as a manager. Uh, here we've got assistant supervisor. And two positions in between supervisor and assistant manager. In order to get to the position of assistant supervisor, we need to fill out the paperwork and we need to place orders to the value of two case credits. Most of us do that with our very first order by getting one of the uh, new distributor packs, combi packs, they're called different things in different parts of the world. It's a box, it's a starter box of products. It's the uh, fastest selling products. It gives you a chance to try the products yourself. Usually it's a, a, a significant discount. So it makes a lot more sense to do that. It's not obligatory to do that, but most of us choose to do it. You could spread your first few orders out over the first month or even two months, um, but most of us see little point in doing that. And to get a box gets you straight to the position of assistant supervisor, straight to the position of having the 30% a wholesale retail profit margin and a position of getting a bonus as well. How do we then move to the position of supervisor? Well, in order to move from assistant supervisor to supervisor, we need to turn over 25 case credits. This is not just you personally, this is you and your team. So how would we do that? Well, there are all sorts of different ways that we can do it. It's going to be a combination of the personal orders that everybody in your team places, the personal sales that everybody in your team makes, and also the amount of people that you sponsor. Because every time you sponsor somebody into the business, add a new team member into the business, they are going to do two case credits in order to get there. So let's say uh, you were to sponsor 12 people, introduce 12 people, and you consumed one case credit of product yourself. So 12 people who do two case credits each, that's 24 case credits. You do uh, one case credit, that's 25 case credits. You are automatically at the position of supervisor with your 8% profit margin. It might be though that uh, you take a little bit more uh, time to do that. So let, let's give you an example of how to build and work with your team in order to get to supervisor. So if this is you, let's say we sponsor five people into the team. For each of them to become an assistant supervisor, they're going to do two case credits each. We're also going to be making sales ourselves. One of the key factors in the forever plan is the four case credit monthly discipline. So let's say you do four case credits yourself. And what we're going to do is teach the people who've joined us how to do four case credits. So as well as the two case credits they've done, they're going to do an additional two case credits each. So if we add all this together, we've got five people doing four case credits and you doing four case credits, which gives you 24 case credits. It's not quite 25. So what would we do? We'd probably work a little bit harder to do the extra case credits and maybe you do five case credits in that month and that would give you a total of 25 case credits. The marketing plan actually allows us up to two consecutive months to do any of these qualifications. My advice though is focus on doing it as quickly as you possibly can. If you try and spread it out over two months, you're just going to slow the pace of your business down. It's quite easy to get everything in place to make this happen in one month. The beauty though of it being uh, spread over two months is that whatever your total was for last month, that's the point at which you start this month. So if you did 10 case credits last month, you start on day one of this month with 10 case credits and then grow to 25. To move to assistant manager, we need to turn over 75 case credits. I think the way to look at it is to see that 75 case credits is three lots of 25. So in order to get to assistant manager, we just need to have three people in our team get to supervisor. You help three people get to supervisor. They've accumulated 25 case credits each, uh, 75 case credits. You've automatically got to assistant manager. To get to manager, 120 case credits over any two consecutive months. 
Uh, but the same applies. You can do it in one month. You can do it in one week if you want to. It depends how hard you want to work, how quickly you want to go for it. But 120 case credits is five people getting to supervisor. So by helping these three people and then helping a couple more get to supervisor, maintain that volume, then move through the marketing plan, that's going to get you to the position of manager yourself. So we've covered the four main areas of income. Uh, we've covered the retail income, which includes your personal profits and your personal bonus, team building, team leading income, royalty income and profit share. Of course, in addition to that, there's the car plan where the company gives you an allowance to uh, buy a car of your choice up to 6,300 a year here in the UK and the equivalent in other uh, countries uh, around the world. We've shown you how to move through uh, the marketing plan. And what I want you to take away from this is that you don't need to understand all the numbers. What you do need to understand is that by creating sales, finding customers, creating sales, by introducing people into the business, and by focusing on these thresholds, you're going to move through the marketing plan, which is going to give you the profits that you want. I hope you find that helpful.